Hey, good evening everybody. It's KB5 MIQ Big Boy Take 2. <laughs> it's been a long day, so I have to kind of sad I need to redo that video a little bit. I said something in there I was probably going to get crucified over, so we're not going to go down that path. All right, guys, first thing out of the bat, we're going to get the most important thing out of the way. Got to wish my number one fan a happy birthday. I missed Aaron's birthday earlier in the week. Aaron is uh, W5DLX's son, Cody. He turned 10 this week. Aaron has been listening to me since my first videos. He's been a fan of the channel since the very beginning. Likes old ham radio cat. Cody brought him down this summer to the shack, or about some about the last six months to the shack. He got to visit with us here on the radio and uh, see old ham radio cat in person. Fine young man, he's going to make a good ham radio operator one day. He likes to get on the air and talk with us. Aaron, hope you had a great week, buddy, and looking forward to talking to you again soon. Guys, on my last giveaway, when I give those manuals for techs, I only had two entries. So instead of giving the one manual away, I just bought another one and sent it to the second entry. Uh, KE8 Oscar Delta Yankee, I believe I got that call right, Chris. My tracking says it was delivered, but I can't get any response from an email. So if you watch it, man, let me know if you're all right. Let me know if you got it. Just make sure you're okay. And if you don't mind, shoot me a picture with it. But the main thing is just let me know you got it so I know you're doing all right there. All right, guys, i got a couple of subjects we'll talk about tonight. I'll tell you a little about my FT8 experience. Um, as you all know, I'm not computer savvy. Uh, I grew up with a tackle box in my hand, not an Xbox. I've uh, been running FT8 a while, and all at once it quit transmitting. Radio quit transmitting. The program said it was transmitting, but the radio quit transmitting. So I checked the radio. Radio was transmitting. Uh, I used an easy PSK adapter that Kent's loaned me along with the radio. Couldn't find nothing wrong with it. Computer hooked up fine. Nobody had changed that. Um... Program settings, I even uninstalled the program and reinstalled it. Still could not get it to transmit. Well, been going for about a month, and I was been bugging me. I couldn't quite figure it out, so I decided, well, there's only one other thing to, to make sure what it is. I took another computer I had that had the uh, FT8 program on it, hooked it up. Lo and behold, it transmitted. Okay, so I got a problem with my microphone. Well, got Kent on there, and Kent's a, he got a lot of patience with me and tech support over the phone with computers, but he was able to talk me through the settings on the microphone, and I was able to figure out what was wrong with it, and something somehow had come unchecked. I have no idea. We've had some power blinks. I don't know if that caused it or what, but got FT8 back up and running. Thanks, Kent. I appreciate your help. All right, we got a couple of subjects we're going to talk about. Uh, pick these up off a of ham radio page I, I put my videos on. One of them, guy asks, what is a sad ham? All right. A sad ham, in my opinion, is anybody who on the air berates you if you make a mistake, wants to be the expert, uh, that you bought the wrong equipment or you just should buy what they buy and, or if you want to be a real ham, you got to do this. Or arrogantly dominating one frequency that you that's either through a uh, automatic caller ID, automatic CQ, or whatever. And I'm sure some people know what frequency I was. I hadn't heard that in a while, but just being a total butthead on the radio with people, you know, blaming them the with removing CW uh, 
15 years ago was all the problems with ham radio, things like that. They have been around forever at ham radio. Hiram Percy Maxim wrote a piece. He was one of the co-founders of ARRL. He wrote a piece years ago, I think back in the 30s, about the sad old man on the radio, which me took a lot of commitment back then in the CW days to be a sad ham, and you're pounding out, oh, that's a starter radio. You know, that's what it is. Uh, I've said all along, before the internet and social media come around, the only people that knew about sad ham was ham radio operators. The world didn't know about them. Now, everybody knows about them. And they could end up being a problem with our bands because I guarantee you people are compiling data to go to the FCC to justify getting them to sell them our bands. And all it takes is a whole bunch of sad ham crap that they're getting off the internet to help pass that along. So my rule of thumb, if you can't say something nice and helpful for somebody, don't say nothing at all. You know, I, that just drives me up the wall. And this is things I've had said to me before, too. And y'all have seen my other videos where I've talked about it. But a sad ham is somebody that is not going to be happy with themselves and are going to try their best to make sure you're unhappy also. Best thing to do, spin the knob, get away from them. Another guy brought up about the fact of how many antennas he had to have on his truck. You know, he had to have a 2-meter antenna, a 70-centimeter antenna, GMRS antenna, etc. This is why I advocate research, reading, and it don't hurt to ask questions at all. But when you ask questions, 90% of the answers on radio are going to be, you need to do what I'm telling you to do because this is what's on my truck or this is what's on my shack. You know, he's worried about running multiple antennas. I've got a four-band radio in my truck. Can't let me have a four-band 8900. And I've got one antenna that he gave me the antenna with it, too, which runs 10 meters, 2 meters, 10 meters, 6, 2, and 440. One antenna. There's all kinds of antennas out there that you can run mobile that you can combine different bands into one antenna. Same way with your house antenna for HF or VHF. I keep saying this, you can ask for ideas, ask for pointers, whatever. Bottom line is nobody knows your budget, your skill level, your location, or what you're capable of putting up or what you really wanting to get. This is where you have to decide in ham radio what you want to do. Ask questions. Feel free to email me questions. I'll get you an answer. But you'll notice none of my answers are going to be, you do this. My answers are going to be, this is my suggestion, or this is how I'm doing something. This is what I can recommend, but that's my opinion. I'm not telling you how to run your shack, all right? Guys, we want to help you stay in this hobby. And it don't hurt to ask questions. Don't hurt to ask questions on social media. Just be prepared for the answers you get. One other thing, I mentioned a couple of videos ago, I was wanting to try to start a mailbag video where people could email me questions and I could make them pick the best ones out, make one video, call it Mailbag Monthly or whatever. And being older, I typed my email address wrong in the description of that video. I corrected it a couple of days later, but I may have already messed that up. So people may have emailed me and I didn't get it and they didn't get a response. I apologize. I had cataract surgery. I used cheaters. And I've got to rearrange my computer in here, but my monitor is too far for me to use with my cheaters and too close for me to really see it accurate without my cheaters or all the way around or something. It's kind of hard to see, and I just typed it in a row. <clears throat> but my email address <coughs> is correct on my QRZ page. It's correct on the slide at the end of the video showing the 10-meter roundtable schedule. 
And I will make sure it's correct in the description tonight. So if you want to have got a question, send me an email, put in the subject matter, mailbag question, and I'll do a, I'll compile it over a week or two and then make a video trying to answer those questions. Yes, remember Main Trade Company, Paris, Texas? Richard's got all kinds of used gear hitting the site, plus he's got the expert amps coming in all the time now. If you got the money to spend on a high dollar amp, that'd be one to look at. Talk with MFJ. They still want me to keep doing review videos because we're planning on keeping the website up at least through the rest of this year. So we've got some more of those in the works. I'm glad to hear they still want me to keep doing them. Guys, I want to thank everybody who subscribed to the channel. And since my subscription has been up and down, if you're subscribed, check and make sure you're still subscribed because for some reason YouTube, I think, removes them sometimes. And if you're not subscribed, please give us a, a subscription. Please subscribe to the channel. Give us a like. We really appreciate it. KB5 MIQB Bull, 73.